Like Love Collective, hope everybody's doing okay. I'm doing, doing zodiac signs, doing um, the sign of Virgo right now. Okay, um, we're going to find out what uh, the energy is on Virgo. Uh, thank you, Archangel Michael, for coming down and protecting us and guiding us as we channel the messages. Thank you, Ascended Masters and Ancestors of the Highest White Light, for giving us helpful healing messages and letting us know the truth. Okay, what's uh, Virgo's energy right now? Okay, Virgo, you got two energies. You got Aquarius energy and Scorpio energy. Eleven and an eight. Okay, destiny. Okay, eight one one. Aquarius and Scorpio energy for the Virgos. So I'm gonna read what the Aquarius energy is. Um, the Aquarius energy is I know. Okay, it says commutative energy of the air finds determination and stick to it qualities. Okay, you may not have the answers, but you have a, an available network available to you, okay? Use it, and the answer is everything at your fingertips. The I know is misleading, um, whether you know how to find the answers, okay, Virgo? Who has the information you need, okay? And also, avoid being distant or detached or too cold, okay? Um, with the Scorpio um, energy um, pairing with the Aquarius energy, we got... Let's see what we got. We got I create. So you know you can create something, it, however you think of it, okay? Um, the mysterious energy of water takes on the fixed quality of an intense. Okay, so you know something instinctively in the air. And this water uh, sign takes you to your emotion, okay? It says, um, it says the key, it says the determined quest to under, under earth the truth. Okay, um, I create plays out the motivation to create reality based on hand-picked truths. In this situation, what is the truth behind the facade? Things are not always as they seem. It says avoid using your powers for evil. Um, because you create, you manifest, okay? Um, you're the one that is the composer of your, of your story, okay? Um, so we're going to use these right here, Virgo. And, um, and um, clarify this, okay? <laughs> You're the composer. You create. You know. Okay. Judgments here. Hold on. One more. Oh, that's too many. That's too many. Okay. One more. For Virgo. Okay. Um, okay. So, you got... You got judgment is the first card. Okay. So, you've passed judgment on something or somebody's passed judgment on you. Okay. But you create and you know what's going on. Okay. Um, you have the... The, the gut instinct, okay, um, like the Aquarius is showing, okay, and you're using your emotions um, to, to like, hone in on it, okay, okay, so you made judgment, um, you're the Queen of Pentacles, look, that looks like a Virgo, <laughs> I'm just saying it does, okay, anyway, you're the Queen of Pentacles, okay, um, you've created something that's going to lift you up because you made judgment on a call and it opened a door for you, okay? Um, yeah, you're getting a whole new cup of, of love, of, of whatever it is that you're manifesting, you created, okay? And what you don't see coming on the bottom of the deck is destiny, eight of wands, okay? This is non-stoppable movement. You've already started it and now it's unstoppable, okay? Um, we're going to clarify that with, uh, Let's see, I think we should clarify it with the unicorn card. Okay. So, judgment. What does Virgo need to know about judgment? One card, please. What does Virgo need to know about judgment? Receive. Be open to receiving goodness, it says. It says, believe you are worthy of abundance. A gift is coming to you soon. Okay. So, believe. Okay. Um, that's your judgment. That's that's clarifying the judgment. Queen of Pentacles, please. Um, that one's popping out. It says sanctuary. Take time from the world. Spend more time alone and meditate or go into retreat. Okay. Um, start thinking about making a plan about how you're going to make these pinnacles. Okay. Um, uh, go within. All right. And the Ace of Chalice, please, for Virgo. Okay. It says polarity. It says, integrate your shadow side. There can be no light without dark. Understand the laws of polarity. Okay. Okay, so that's going to bring you your cup of chalice, um, your love, because you're, you're, you know, not, you, you, 
you're not seeing something for what it is because there's a lot of secrets here a lot of moon um type type looks okay and we got dance it says move your body to music dance with the rhythm of life manifest your dreams through dance and that's what i said at the beginning um virgo that you need that you're a, a great manifester okay um you're creating something here hey um they want me to do this you're creating the life that you want, Virgo, period, okay? Yeah, it says want here. It says that you're creating the life that you want, okay? Somebody may named JP, maybe? Or it might have been something about the life you wanted, because it says wanted, okay? <laughs> it also says new, okay? Um, so you might be wanting a new life and not that life anymore, Okay, it says tap into the new, okay? Um, tap into the new. Okay, and it says new too. <laughs> it says JT, JP, um, something about Gene. Okay, Gene T, Gene, oh, W, D, W, T, P, P, T, Pat. Okay, Pets, Jets, Wet, Net. Okay, whatever resonates with you, okay? Uh, so I want to find out what um, what gets you centered um, in a minute. We're going to read a Bible verse, okay? It says, But he that believeth not shall be damned. Mark 16, 16. Okay? So let that resonate with you, um, Virgo. And we're going to find out what you need to know about getting centered, okay? Alright, we're going to say, okay, here it says, Diligent prayer for better phone boundaries and commitment to self. It says, Good spirit. May you guide us in better phone boundaries. May our commitment to ourselves be rooted in looking away from the bright light of the screen and into the bright light of ourselves. May we put the phone down when we want to and may we pick it back up when we are ready. Good Spirit, please take away my worry of FOMO. <laughs> please help me to see that the right now in front of me is all the magic I have ever dreamed of. And if it is not... Lead me back to my commitments and my practice to better do thy will. Thy will of looking away from the damn phone. Okay? So there you go. It says, what am I committed to tomorrow? Okay? Um, so Virgo, there you go. Um, if anything resonates with you, if you like it, um, like and subscribe. Um, like the videos. They help me connect better. Um, but if you'd like to donate to the page, everything's in the description box. And um, like and love to you, Virgo. And see you on the flip side. <laughs>